Welcome to North Falmouth Congregational Church and welcome to our pageant this evening. It's a delight to be able to do this again. It's been four years or five, <laughs> maybe five, I'm not sure. But it is a delight to have all of you here today. And it is a delight that all our folks are ready to go as we tell the old, old story again and come to hear and see it acted out once again. So let us begin.
Please join me in the call to worship. There shall come forth a shoot from the stump of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. The Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. and the calf, and the lion, and the fatling together. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy, and you will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son, and this is, and this, um, is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren, for nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord, let it be with me according to your word. And the angel departed from her.
A, don a donkey plodded slowly along the deep darkness of a desert night. Could it know that it carried someone precious, someone the world would not, soon not forget? As the animal and its passengers made their way through the blackness, the only things to be seen were the stars, the lights of heaven. And it is only in darkness that those lights can shine. It was a crowded city that night, Bethlehem. Joseph and Mary sought a place to stay, an inn, a room somewhere, anywhere, a safe place from the chilly night air. But there was no place, no room in the inn. One innkeeper took pity on the young couple and let them stay in the stable. There, under a blanket of stars, Mary and Joseph found warmth and protection. And the light of one star was to pierce the darkness over the place where they took refuge. In the beginning was the one who was called the Word. Everything that was created received its life from him. His life gave light to everyone. The light keeps shining in the dark, and the darkness had never put it out. The true light that shines on everyone was coming into the world. So while they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. All this took place to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet. Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, a young woman shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. Simple shepherds in the darkness of night lay in the fields watching their sheep. 
The stillness was suddenly illuminated by a brilliant light from the heavens. The first to receive the joyous news were the simplest, most ordinary of men. Men who counted the stars night after night, but who have never been greeted by a light such as this. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glor- glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy for all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign to you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among all people. So it was, when the angels had gone away from them into heaven, that the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem, and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came quickly and found Mary, Joseph, and the child who was lying in the manger. Now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and we come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard these things, he was troubled. He secretly called for the wise men and said, Go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring back word to me that I may come and pay him homage also. When they had heard the king, they departed, and three ahead of them went went the star, and they had seen it at its rising, until it came and stood over where the child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. And when they had entered the house, They saw the child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chest, they presented him to him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh.
us to thy perfect light. Heaven looked down on that holy night as a manger became an altar and a stable became a cathedral. Born on that ordinary of days was a tiny messenger of peace for a troubled and tumultuous world. History now looks back to that moment when God came in Jesus to reveal himself to people everywhere. The humble shepherds were there, the wise men bowed before him, and the peace which passes all understanding filled their hearts as it now fills ours. The first Noel, the angel did say, was to certain poor shepherds in fields as they lay, in fields where they lay keeping their sheep on a cold winter's night that was so deep. Noel, Noel, Noel. both day and night. Noel, 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 born is the King of Israel. When the shepherds had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told about that but it told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned to their flocks, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had seen, they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. The angels had sung their songs and spread news of the Christ child's birth, and now they returned to their place in the heavens to keep watch over the babe as he grew. The wise men, having honored the child, began their journey back to their native land, but then being Divinely warned in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed from their own country another way. They've all left the manger. They've all gone home. Let us join our hearts together in a Christmas blessing. Blessed Emmanuel, 
When the world was dark and all was quiet, you came to be beside us and no one knew. Only a few who dared to believe that God might do something different. You come into the darkness of today's world to the places where people have stopped believing that war will end, food will come, governments will change, or that a church cares. Into the darkness, you come to do something different. You come into the fearful quietness of this world when the calls and texts have stopped, the friendly voice no longer speaks, and the doctor's face says it all. Into the fearful quietness, you come to do something different. Help us to be open and vulnerable to you as you were to us as a tiny infant. When you came wearing no more than diapers, you trusted human hands to hold their maker. When the world was dark and the silence was frightening, you came into the dark corners and the quiet places of our lives to do something different. Do the same this Christmas, O oh Lord. Do the same this Christmas as we pray the prayer you taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day of our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And so now I invite us on the peace of this night, I invite you to turn to your neighbor and offer peace. Peace be with you. with all of you. <laughs> Peace be with you, Joyce. What I love about passing this piece is we could do it all day and we try to get everybody. So tonight we came to hear this story once again and to have that light come into the darkness that sometimes clouds over our lives and this world. And so we now accept our offering with gratitude to bring more light into the world so this church can keep doing their ministries of doing just that, bringing light into darkness. How about, yeah. How about yeah. Bianca? What did you Sister or brother? <laughs>
Let us join together in the prayer of dedication found in your order of worship. Take these gifts, O God, as symbol of our whole love for you and transformation with, with the whole lives of those for whom they are used. Amen. Let us join our voices together for our final hymn, Joy to the World, all verses. I heard a rumor that there might be coffee and cookies. There are, yes, it's a true. So if you would like to hang out till seven o'clock service, you can do so. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Don't you want to? <laughs> you can do so. There is coffee and cookies, Christmas cookies, of course. May the God of angels and shepherds and bright stars bring joy to your heart. May God of birthing love fill your life with hope and peace. May God Emmanuel be with your, you in all your comings and goings. May the love of God, the light of Christ, and the communion of the Spirit be with you now and always. Amen and let's clap, right? <laughs> Yay, thank you so much for everything. Wonderful job. And I think the cash should lead us out. <laughs>